one of those problems that I think sounds a lot, a lot more scary than it really is. Uh, I think the key thing here is figuring out what these variables mean. And if you can do that, I think it should be pretty straightforward. So it's k times 1.5 raised to the y power, right? Yep. So now I know that the tuition t, so this really represents the tuition, and the y represents the years, and I'm trying to solve for k, so that's all. And the problem tells me that Jim will pay 18515 bucks in two years from now. So I know that the value of y is 2. Right, so this is my tuition, and this is two right here. And all, all I have to do is solve for k. As simple as that. So it's 1.5 squared. 1.5 squared will be uh, 2.25. So I'm going to rewrite that as 2.25k equals 18,515. And now let's just do 18,515 divided by 2.25. And k will be... Um, did I mess it up somewhere? I think I did, sorry. 18,515 divided by 2.25. Yeah, see, I, I don't know if you guys caught me. I caught my, uh, I messed up right here. It's not 1.5, right? It's 1.15. Sorry about that. I was wondering why I was not getting the right answer. So that's 1.15 and 1.15 squared is not, uh, wow really messed this one up. 1.15 times 1.15 will be 1.3225k. Hopefully this gives me the right answer now. So let's check it out. 18,515 divided by 1.3225 and that gives me the right answer which is 14,000 or it gives me 13,997 um, but that will be 14,000. So the value of k is 14,000. I'm just going to give a quick recap just in case I confused you earlier. The real function is not 1.5. The function is t of y equals k times 1.15 to the y power. I figured out that the problem tells me y represents the years and t represents the tuition. And a scenario that the problem gives me is that the tuition is 18,515 two years from now. So that's why I got the two over there. And then it was just just became an algebra problem right here, and I solved for my k. 1.15 squared was this number, so it's 1.3225k equals 18,515, and then divide both sides by 1.3225, divide this side by 1.3225, and you're left with k equals 13,997, I think it came out to, but that'll be 4,000.